Your body usually manages your blood sugar levels by producing insulin, a hormone that allows your cells to use the circulating sugar in your blood. As such, insulin is the most important regulator of blood sugar levels. However, multiple factors can impair blood sugar management and lead to hyperglycemia, that is increased blood sugar in your body. High blood sugar levels can be dangerous without prompt management and they may lead to both short-term and long-term complications. As such, it is vital for the people with diabetes to control their blood sugar levels and keep them within the target range. And here are some ways to naturally lower your blood sugar levels. First, eating the right type of carbohydrate. There are three main types of carbohydrates, sugars, starch and fibers. Sugar and starch raise blood sugar levels but fiber does not as the body is unable to break down or absorb fibers. So you may consider including carbs that are rich in fiber in your diet. Sugar and starch may be simple or complex. Simple carbs primarily consist of only one type of sugar. The body breaks these carbohydrates down very quickly which causes blood sugar to rise rapidly. Whereas complex carbohydrates consist of three or more types of sugar molecules and they are linked together. They result in more gradual release of sugar into the body meaning that blood sugar levels do not rise rapidly after a person eats them. The ability of a food item to raise blood sugar can be measured by glycemic index and higher the glycemic index, higher is the blood sugar raised by that food. Low glycemic index food describe those that have a score of 55 or lower on the index and these food include quinoa, legumes, low fat milk, leafy greens, nuts and seeds, meat, fish and sweet potato. Next is managing carbohydrate intake. Your body breaks down carbs into sugar mainly in the form of glucose and then insulin helps your body use and store this glucose for energy. When you eat too many carbs or have insulin function problem, this process fails and blood glucose levels can rise. Therefore, you need to manage your carb intake by counting how much you are consuming and how much you need. A low carb dietary pattern may help you stabilize and manage blood sugar. However, this type of eating pattern may not be suitable for everyone. Therefore, before modifying your carbohydrate intake, you may consult a healthcare professional or a dietitian. Next, regular exercise. During physical activity, the body needs fuel. So the fuel storage effect of insulin needs to be suppressed. And this is done primarily by inhibiting insulin secretion during exercise as well as activating the local and systemic fuel mobilizing processes. In contrast, after exercise, there is a need for refilling the fuel depot mobilized during exercise, particularly the glycogen stores in the muscle. This process is facilitated by an increase in insulin sensitivity of the muscles that were previously engaged in physical activity. In physically trained individuals, insulin sensitivity is also higher than in untrained individuals due to adaptation in the vasculature, skeletal muscle and adipose tissues. Therefore, exercise helps your muscles use blood sugar for energy and muscle contraction. You should routinely check your blood sugar level before and after exercise. This will help you learn how you respond to different activities and keep your blood sugar levels from getting too high or too low. Interrupting prolonged sitting with brief light exercises can also help regulate blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes. Other helpful forms of exercise include weightlifting, brisk walking, running, biking, dancing, hiking, swimming and more. In fact, any activity that regularly gets you up and moving regardless of its intensity. Next is hydration. Drinking enough water helps you keep your blood sugar levels within healthy range. In addition to preventing dehydration, it helps your kidneys flush out any excess sugar through the urine. According to a 2021 study, the intake of water was correlated with reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. You should avoid sugar sweetened options as they can raise blood sugar and they drive weight gain and they increase the risk of diabetes. Portion control. Portion control can help you regulate your calorie intake and maintain a moderate weight. Consequently, weight management promotes healthy blood sugar levels and has been shown to reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Monitoring your serving size also helps prevent blood sugar spikes. 
and let me tell you some helpful tips for managing portion size you should measure and weigh your portions you can use smaller plates avoid all you can eat restaurants read food labels and check the serving size keep a food journal and you should eat slowly though a doctor or a dietitian can offer you a more specific advice on appropriate portion size next is stress management stress has a significant effect on blood sugar levels the body releases hormones like glucagon and cortisol when in under stress and these hormones can raise blood sugar levels one study including a group of students showed that exercise relaxation and meditation significantly reduces stress and lowers blood sugar levels you should also try getting enough sleep getting adequate sleep can help with diabetes management evidence indicates that most adults should aim for 7 or more hours of sleep per night insufficient sleep can have various effects on your body and they include increased insulin resistance increased hunger it causes cravings for food high in carbohydrates and sugar making it more difficult to maintain a moderate weight raising blood pressure a weakened immune system and an increased risk of depression or anxiety to improve the quality of your sleep you may try to follow a sleep schedule you can avoid caffeine and alcohol late in the day get regular exercise cut down on screen time before bed keep your bedroom cool you may try aromatherapy that is you may use some soothing or calming scents avoid working in your bedroom take a warm bath or shower before bed you can even try meditation monitor your blood sugar levels so monitoring blood glucose levels can help you better manage them you can do so at home using a portable blood glucose meter which is known as a glucometer and you can discuss this with your doctor keeping track allows you to determine whether you need to adjust your meals or medicines the recommended number of times to check glucose levels during a day will vary from person to person and your doctor can better guide you about the frequency of testing next is vitamin d vitamin d could help you lessen your risk of diabetes in a 2013 study vitamin d deficient people with pre diabetes who supplemented the vitamin benefited from an improvement in blood glucose levels do consult your doctor to know if you need vitamin d supplement or not vitamin d rich food include sardines wild or uv exposed mushrooms fortified milk and non dairy milk next is weight management research shows that even a 5% reduction in body weight can improve your blood sugar regulation and reduce the need for diabetes medications so that's all for now i hope the video was helpful thank you